All righty, thank you very much. Let's do one final um, virtual round of applause for our, our speakers and our facilitator and Paul for the Q&A session. Um, we were thrilled to see how many people responded last year and this year to want to give lightning talks because it's so exciting for us on the power team to get to hear how you're utilizing power data in your work, in your research, and for you to get to share that with your communities. Um, and we appreciate each and every one of you who called in from across the world, whether it currently is good morning, good afternoon, or good evening for you. So thank you for taking time to share with us today. So we're going to, to conclude this portion, um, the summary of what we've discussed before, um, keep it in mind that we do have a feedback session after I go over these slides, um, is we want to leave you with these tidbits. So firstly, power will be um, in person at the following conferences that you see here. As you can see, we have a busy fall ahead of us. Um, for October, we have uh, Fed Geo Day, Decarbonization of the Bill's Environment Conference, Energy Data Analytics Symposium, and ASA, CSSA, and SSSA Conference, um, as well as ISES Solar World Conference. In November, we have America's Clean Power Resource and Technology Conference. In December, um, the American Geophysical Union's Fall Meeting. And in January, the American Meteorological Society is 104th annual meeting. So we love getting to hear your stories when you come up and tell us. Um, and we're also giving uh, presentations or high goals of these talks. So there will be an opportunity to hear any sort of updates that power has had since what you're hearing now. Um, I wanted to give you a quick sum up for what's upcoming from power. So things that you can look at for an email announcements or news briefs. Um, they'll be related to what Paul talked about earlier. So we have additional power data access viewer features, um, more geospatial and image services, the release of the Prove web app, as well as the solicitation for your feedback to make sure that it's meeting your needs and expectations. Um, more updates on Power's climate data service and work um, as related to our climate services that we're serving up for NASA centers, um, the implementation of Power Data version 10. Uh, don't worry, it won't happen overnight without your notice. You'll get plenty of notification on what that will entail and what is going to happen. Um, and we're also very excited for the integration of Tempo data into Power Platforms. Uh, also, be on the lookout after we conclude over the next coming weeks. We'll be requesting feedback for this event. Uh, the feedback that you give us helps improve this event going forward every year. So we'll be sending a survey to solicit your feedback. Additionally, when we send that survey along, we'll send the recordings for the um, for the event. So if you were able to attend today, but not any of the new lightning talks that are happening tomorrow, um, it's an opportunity for you to check out those videos. Or if you want to rewatch anything, those will be there for you. Um, so I just want to make sure this point is hit home. Uh, we love to hear from you guys. Uh, we, uh, as you all are aware, those of you that have emailed us, we do maintain an email box uh, where you can send us any sort of questions that you have, whether they be about tools or services, clarification questions about data, improvements you'd like to see like, made, feedback on any of our tools and services. Um, but you can see the email here, but you can also scan the QR code that you see on your screen. Um, it'll take you to this part of our website where you can open an email to, to shoot us an email. Um, additionally, uh, the Power Project firstly likes to showcase presentations and papers and projects that have used power data and tools. Um, we like to feature them within our presentations that you saw earlier today in Paul's presentation. Some of those user feedback or some of those user stories were from Lightning Talks or users that have reached out to us via email. Um, we also like to keep track of these presentations, papers, and projects with on our website on a tracking list um, so that everything related to power can be found all in one place. Um, also like to show this, this graphic in this list to say uh, power likes to partner with all sorts of different sectors. Um, as you can see, it's a very expansive list because we have lots of different people we like to partner with. Uh, it's pretty much um, anyone that wants to work with us. So whether you exist in a, in a government space or in a nonprofit, um, education, commercial, startups, app developers, um, power data could work for you, and we'd love to know if it is or uh, if it's not, how we can improve it to make it so. So before uh, I hand it over to Jason Barnett, who's going to start off our feedback session, um, or after I give the what we're going to be doing and then hand it over to Jason, we're going to go over the agenda. So as a reminder, as you've seen in all of the communications we've had related to the event, um, most of the agenda will agenda will be identical. Um, Dr. Stackhouse will be giving the same power project highlight presentation. 
Um, however, the community showcase will be different. So we'll have unique lightning talks different from the ones that spoke today um, so that we can showcase the broader depth of users. Uh, and we will also conduct a, another feedback exercise. So if you're interested in attending, we'd love to have you tomorrow to see what the rest of our uh, lightning talk presenters have to say.